Hello, I'm Entrilithium and welcome back to Let's Play Nantucket, the whaling game where we go and we murder loads of whales and their newborns in front of the whales and then kill the whales. It's the 19th century, it's the early 19th century, it's fine, we can be evil, that's basically the 19th century. Anyway, today we're going to try and get ourselves an upgrade to our ship. The, uh, the HMS Maggie has been a pretty good ship all round. But trading up to a three whale boat large ship is pretty tempting. Also, we've totally got the money for this. We just need to wait for this upgrade to be done, which is currently being done right here in Peterhead. It's just not going to be done for like another two months. So we're going to leave. We're going to sail away and go through a long loading screen. I, I keep forgetting how long these loading screens can be for such a such a simple game. It's not like it's loading really high resolution 3D assets or anything. Uh, right. So we have a maimed crew member, which we can trade out by going somewhere and trying to find a replacement. I think it's probably a good idea. Um, whales are migrating. Active whale migration route for killer whales. Ugh. We've got to deliver goods over here. Uh, you know what? We'll go down here. That way we will follow the uh, the Maria's destiny. Oh, no, sorry. The unveiled the Maria's destiny. And then we'll go up to here, help him with a personal issue. Also get a chance to see if there's like someone available at Horta. And then we'll go to Nantucket. It's an unusual route to go. Uh, Picky Eater. Oh, God. You know what? Sure. Have the... Gourmet trait added because someone's telling me it's a good trait and I want to check out if that's actually true. Dull. Ooh, gourmet plus 100% morale on the effect of. Okay, gourmet is a good trait. It doesn't actually make them picky, it just makes them like food a lot more. Which is totally fine. We can totally live with that. Mm. Okay. No, Maria. We can go check further down later. Uh, I want to help with the... Per there we go. You sail close to the town of the sailor who wants you to visit home in order to see his dying father. His countenance makes it evident that he expects you to drop the anchor and let him go home. Drop your ship close to the village and let him go. Yeah, sure. After waiting for your man to come back for hours... Hours? It's like, oh, you spent a long time. It's like, dude, he's got a dying father. Hours? I kind of thought this would be like a couple of days. Not just like, yeah, we'll just wait for a couple of hours as he goes ashore. Like, surely it'll take you like at least an hour to get ashore, hour to get back, a few hours in the middle. That's hours, easily. Okay, we head to the mainland to see what's going on. By following the village's instructions, you reach your crew member's house, a wooden cabin just outside the village. You knock on the door, but no one comes. You walk around the house and discover your man in the backyard, lying on the ground in front of two tombstones placed in the garden. Who appears to have shot himself after discovering that both of his parents died. None of your crew members has the res resuscitation skill. I was about to say the resurrection skill. That's a powerful skill. If we could walk on water, then we could really hunt some whales. Uh, what a tragedy. Coming here with a horrible idea. Was Rodrigo one of our good hunters? Uh, he, was our, uh, he was our gunner we needed to level up. God damn it. If it was Claude. Hmm. God damn it. Fine. That's a great way to start the episode. Please tell me that we've got someone to hire. Got a good level... A level 5 gunner who has cannons. That's good because we need cannons. Eh. Yeah, let's hire Ruben. Uh, wait, what's this? Sickly. No, oh, God, no. Minus one HP per level is actually really painful. I don't think we can countenance that. Okay, what have we got over here? Prince of Wales in the Kara Sea. Prove their rumors, which means it's probably going to be sharks. Okay. Well, sail away. Sail away, sail away, sail away. And... Nantucket. 
normally some good people to hide in Nantucket. Hopefully we can get a whole load of new sailors. Because we are not doing great right now. And we'll get quarter deck in there. Unload the shipment. There we go. We had a shipment mission that we've completed. Enter the harbour. Uh, sub Pacific Ocean, yeah, yeah. We've killed the creature. Take your award. There we go. We've got prestige as well, which is great, because I need that. Right. A level 10 gunner. Increased HP regen. When retreating can't be attacked. Yeah, uh, meh. What's this? Grenade. Oh, dude, grenade is so amazing. It's only useful versus human enemies. But it's so powerful. Because it, it hurts them all for like 30 damage or something. You know what? You're hired. And then... Uh, what's this? Food consumption. Minus damage in combat against sea creatures. You're a hunter. Surely you should have like... Been weeded out. Superstitious. Um, that's fine. Crew member death should hopefully be rare. He says into an episode where we've had a crew member death already. Uh... We could just hire a low level person and try and rank him up. Sure. Okay. Got to keep some prestige spare, because once we get that upgrade, we're going to have four more people to hire. And only ten prestige at the moment for four people is kind of painful. Yeah, I know. I could get rid of Bill and Rui now I've got the upgrades, but they're also doing, like, a great job. Like, this is plus 10% to blubber conversion to oil. That's good money. Not that I need the money as much. And the morale, plus 10 morale, plus 10 per HP. And convert... Yeah, all great abilities. Probably don't need them all, though. What ships have you got on offer? Also a decent option. Cargo space isn't quite as large, but we get an extra two knots. This is quite tempting. The extra two knots is pretty helpful. Cargo space is f about 40 down from the other one we saw. Mm. We'll need to research that, though. So we'll start researching that. Okay. Um, we'll get some more water. Because my plan is to do like a little swing around, do some missions, because missions can get you prestige. Uh, maybe hunt a few whales just for the prestige of it. We'll go up to 300 days supply on most things. There we go. And sail away. We'll also see if we can level up that new hunter, because totally down for getting our hunter up for a few levels. Because level 5 is kind of important when they get the ability to be like... And by that, I think it's the fasten ability, which is an extra one side on the die, is what I mean by... <laughs> Maybe not the most... That's more like the bleedy ability. Maybe... What would the fasten ability be? It's me lassoing. I don't know why you'd lasso a whale. It's more like a harpoon with just a string attached, but it's not really a different sound effect. Uh, let's go and we could start this, like, main mission too. Now we've got, like, a pretty good hunter. Ooh! The, the stabby stick. The amazing spear that we really want. Yeah, we should totally get the amazing spear. Okay, let's continue looking for the Maria. Claude is maimed. Oh, I didn't... I didn't actually commit the, the hires. I forget, you've got to, like, specifically hit except, otherwise it doesn't do it. Storms swell, cause your ship to rock so fiercely, your lookout falls out of the crow's nest and lands on the deck with a sickening crunch. One of his legs looks badly damaged. Oh, oh, it is Claude, though, so... We could cut off the leg. Let him rest, chance he dies. Uh, there's no chance he'd die if we bring him to sickbay. However, if he does happen to die, 
then we don't lose prestige for firing him, which we're going to do anyway, right? This is Claude up here. So, let him rest. Oh. He'll be fine. I tried. And Grog's leaking. No, don't leak! Okay, right. Hiring people. We want a Peter. Hire. We want to get rid of Claude, even though he has got funny, which is nice, but... Oh, we could just get Henry. Oh, what's Henry got? Close-minded. I know five level five is uh, pain master bleeding. It's the fasten you get when you become the class. Okay, we could just get Henry. Just be like, screw it, just go all in. Sure, let's do it. Going to be really good at hunting, which is honestly what the game is about. So I clicked OK. We should have that locked in. Uh, just. Go back up on our supplies. Sail away, sail away, sail away. If you know what song I'm trying to fit those words to, let me know down below in the comments. I just wonder if how people know that band anymore. Like, they should. Yeah, we've got them now. I'm not doing a derp. Safe and sound at home again. Let the waters roll, Jack. Safe and sound Plus prestige for again. nothing Let bad. The cool. Roar, Jack. Long we've tossed on the roaring main. Now we're safe for sure, Jack. Oh, becalmed. Uh, I could sell you stuff. How much? If you told me the price, I'd be totally down for this. No. God, no. They're not offering me a good price. Your roll ship mates. Rolly, 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 rye. Oh, oh whales. Lead the hunt. Kill things. Okay, right. Last used. And then I guess we could just put like all the... Yeah, sure. All the hunters in. Humpback whales! Ooh. Plus damage in feeding areas. I don't know if we're actually in a feeding area or migration area. That's a lot of attacks. Blind. We could just kill you. I think we'll go for, like, a stun. And then... We'll go for a kill. Oh, no! You knocked Bill overboard! And then you hit Bill. God damn it. Poor Bill. I don't really care about Bill. Uh... I guess we could go... Oh, you're dived. And then you're going to die from the bleeding. Sure. No, don't knock me overboard. And you're immersed still? God damn it. That's pretty strong. Just constantly be immersed. Fine. There's nothing we can really do, so... Aha! Now you're up. Right. Fasten. And then... Hit you with a strike. Oh no, breach! We're all overboard. This is not good. And also, quite hurt. Bill is actually really quite hurt right now. Bill could die. Saved! Whoa. Okay, uh, I will take 
Or the blubber. And I guess we'll take food as well. Oh, we can't. We're, we're full. Um, sure. I mean, I could get rid of water to get food, but I don't know if I can really be bothered. Oh, we're close. We're quite close to Imbatua. Yeah, sure. We will. Probably only 100 days left. Let the waters roll, Jack. Old shipmates on the roaring main. Now we're safe for sure, Jack. Don't forget your old shipmates. Rolly, 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 rye, yo. Uh, yeah, you need to go in here. Clifford, you're okay down there. Who's really injured? The two people that are really injured are being healed. Excellent. It is a active well migration route. Safe and sound at home again. Let the, the waters roll, roll Jack. Safe and sound it's the same shanty roll. over and over again. Roar, Jack. You assign a man with no quick experience to kitchen. His means are feeble and appealing and tiresome. Your men are not pleased. Uh. Sloppy eater trait added disenry. No! Okay, let's swap that. Okay, right, we can actually swap them back now. Such as you and I, Jack. Long we've tossed on the rolling main. Now, now we're safe for sure, Jack. Jack. Don't forget your old shipmates. Don't you can clearly hear the broadside coming from not far. From looking at the horizon of your spy grounds, you see a pirate ship battling the ship you were looking for. They have little chance of survival if you do not do something to help them. Okay, let's try and get closer and shoot the boarding pirates. Oh, they sorted everyone. Don't forget your old okay, well, the ship is dead. But at least we found where the ship died. We tried. Uh, we'll use last used. Continue. What is it? Hum ah, no, not more humbugs. Okay, they're all 30 HPs. So, I'm going to say we should probably just alpha strike one of them. Take that hunt back. Hey, more damage. I'm down with that. Not that's going to make much of a difference. It'll be a two-hit kill on anyone anyway, so... 24 damage! Damn! Not bad. Okay. Uh, yeah, there we go. Pretty easy fight, this one. A lot of good hunters really helps. And then I've got to figure out a way to get the blubber on board. Like, a lot of the blubber's been turned into oil, which means it's rendered down. You lose some blubber, but you get oil, which is worth more money anyway. Um, probably chuck out some food. Uh, no, maybe not that much food. And... Chuck out some wood. Oh, so that's where the humpback whales live. Hmm. Don't forget your old ship meets. Rolly, 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 rai, yo. That's a pretty good amount of money. 6,732 for oil. We got half of it. The crew got half. Not bad at all. Uh, yeah, everyone there's terrible. Right, we want to buy some water. Because we got stuff to do. Buy some food. Uh, why am I buying food? Oh, yeah, I dumped food. I dumped food. I can't. I forgot I did that. And then buy some wood. Cool. I've got so much money right now. Just need to wait for that tech to be complete. I still don't know whether we're going to go for the really large ship, the slower, or the slightly smaller hold that's like they're the same size but it's got a slightly smaller hold but it's two knots faster so it's probably going to come down to modules we'll have to compare modules <sighs> right let's do it let's try and get that fancy spear 
Give me your fancy spear. Just give me it in the ri Fin ahoy! Hopefully it is O inquito do. I'm assuming that's Spanish. The inquisitive one? Um, you, do? I, I don't know Spanish. I'm just trying to figure out the derivation. I don't know. It does not it doesn't end like inquisitive, but maybe that's just a modifier on the word. I don't know. If you know what that is, do let me know down below. Low the whale boat. This is going to be a legendary, I think. Uh, oh, I can't use last used because it's locked me in the boat. Right, assign you. Assign you. Assign you, you, and you. Right whale, legendary. Unquitodo. Material bond. Damage plus if cement we're fighting with Yama Newborn. Oh. Okay. That's fine. It doesn't have any of those. And since you're probably trying to, like, dive, as fast and as good. He is trying to dive. No, we've got a rope on you. You're not allowed. Yeah, it's attack. It's probably going to do some sort of massive boat attack. Not allowed. Uh, that is nothing. Great. Good job there. I'll take a stun. Tail slap. 18 across everyone. Everyone stunned. That's that's pretty painful. Yeah. Okay. Go for the strike for the most... Ah, uh, well, Fasten is another Fasten and a bleed. I don't know if the bleed stack, but it's only one less HP, and that's not going to make a difference. I just like the concept that both of our boats are now tail uh, attacked to the whale, so, like, it seems more fun. Uh, bleed step stack. Random crew member gets stunned. Bill stunned. Coming to one attack. Uh, I'll let you get the kill so you get the XP, because you're level 9. Oh, yeah. That was a surprisingly easy mission. And I guess I'll take Blubber. Hmm. Got some prestige, everything. Pretty happy. Ooh. Kalakili, the second spear. Wrath of the Thunder God. Unlock Wrath of Kalakili. Kalas. I'm going to... Kalas is... That's a Star Trek thing. Oh, God. I'm really showing my nerdy side. Isn't that like a god of the Klingons or something? Kalos? Maybe? I don't know. Um, sure, I'll take it. Damage times two plus bleeding. Ooh. And that will be mine. What have I currently got? I've got Ahab's doubloon. Ah, oh, it gives me plus three prestige. Okay, so when I'm hiring someone, I'll switch the doubloon on, and that way I can get more prestige, but then when we leave, we'll just go straight back to using the spear. Okay, that's fine. Maybe we should do, like, the Lost Boys mission, since we are here. What are you offering for Blubber, by the way? 62? 62 is above asking. 64? Yeah, let's just go sell our Blubber we picked up, and then we'll go do the uh, the mission. Because it is right here. Gourmet. I think we're getting gourmet because we've got such a good person doing all the food. There's our money. And probably don't sell some of this food because we've got like so much. Whale meat. Okay, sail away, sweet sister. Let's see what the lo the lost boys have got in for us. Here 
Meredith Walters. Thanks to this fine palate, your cook improves the quality of the ship's meals to a level nobody was expecting. Not even you. All the people under your command appreciate the food. Reward him. All crew get morale. Uh, Crass and Bill gets more. Three morale for 50 gold. It's not really a good offer, but I have so much gold. Sure. I don't know what else to do with the gold. It's actually weighing the ship down a lot. That's why we're going super slow right now. It's all the weight of the gold on board. Smoke ahoy! You rush to the deck looking at the dark smoke column coming from a small island on the horizon. Get closer. One of your men hands you a spyglass and you expect inspect the close the island's coastline. It looks like a shipwreck happened a few days prior, and some men now desperately waving their arms in your direction lit the ship's remains in order to draw your attention. Cast the anchor, we're gonna check out the island. Three men rush into the water, welcoming your boat as you approach them. It looks like they've been on the island for a few days, judging by their worn-out faces and the rough camp built on the beach. Your boats reach the island, and while the three castaways welcome your crew, you take a look around. The camp looks built on the ship's remains, board, sails, and salt-encrusted pieces of furniture. It looks like they've been there a few days, maybe more, as the wind changes the sudden smell of death, blood, and rotten corpses overwhelms you. We're going to investigate the source's dreadful smell. You lead your men towards a small wooden hut, which was built by driving the re remaining parts of the ship's bow into the sand. As you approach the makeshift hut, you notice a rivulet of blood slithering out to you, making the sand around it congeal. The survivors continue to run towards you, but you're not sure about their intentions anymore. Let's look inside the hut. Ignoring the screams of the survivors coming from behind. As you enter the hut, the smell of death becomes unbearable. Many corpses lie in a corner of the vile slaughterhouse, mutilated and almost rotten. Another corpse lies on an improvised table where someone starts tearing off its meat using a sharpened stone. You retch violently, shaking your entire body. Draw your weapon and tell your men to prepare to fight. The survivors slow down and start walking your direction cautiously. They stop in front of your men. They stand, weapons in hand, between your men and you. They are armed and look at you with the frenzy of a trapped animal. Or do you meant to load their weapons? Or I will count to three, drop your weapons to tell me what's happening. Yeah, let's let's lower our weapons and show no hostility. Captain, I am Elwood, the Intrepid's first mate. We were chasing a white whale under Captain Gardier's command. When we were attacked by a pirate ship, our ship was set on fire, and we barely made this island alive. What happened to Captain Gardina? Elwood looks back to his mate before speaking again. Captain Gardina has been taken prisoner by the infamous pirate Diabolito, and he left us here to die, and corpses like damned vultures. He left us here to die in corpses like... what? Hmm. The man starts crying, and you can see the other two men become nervous. Calm down, we're here to help. 50% chance of success. Oh, I do not have the cannibal trait. If I did, I know what it feels like. I'm going to say calm down. Elwood draws his weapon, pointing at you. You do not know what we've been through. Okay, fight time. Um, I'm going to say we should just go all out attack. Elwood, damage during first round. Dexter, damage during first round. Larkin. And he starts with a bleed. Random human gets state bleeding. Okay. Uh, sure, let's, let's do the rolling. Covering fire. Remove an enemy card. And 18 damage to the person who issued the card. Dexter is the highest level. So I'm probably going to want to cancel his. Because he's level 8. And then put a shot on... The shot won't kill anyone, so I'll put it on Elwood. You're only level 2. 15, but with a stun. In human combat, everyone gets to act, because they're all like their individual boats. Random human gets bleeding. Ah, oh, no, not me! Come, give me the grenade ability. Sure. 
You're dead. Ah, oh, you used cover, which means that it counts my attack as a miss. Okay, uh, yes, we can kill them. One. Two. Done. The water ceased churning and returned to normal. We're on a beach? But, okay. Uh, food? I'm gonna assume this food is human meat. I'll take the blubber. But the food, they did say they were eating human meat, which I assume is their last resort. They didn't just have, like, broccoli and carrots and stuff just lying around. They were like, you know, let's just get to the human meat. I don't really want to eat my greens. So I'm going to assume that's human meat. I'm actually going to pass up on it. It is just the same as any other food in game. But no. Also, they had grog. Still? Okay. They didn't get to the urine drinking state. Human flesh? Yes. Urine drinking? No. I'll take the wood as well. So strange. Yeah, I definitely want to leave them. The pirate Diablito is well known for his savage and greed. You hope he is keeping Guardian alive to ask for a ransom. You need to rush to his lair. Located somewhere in Madagascar. Okay, we need to rush to his lair. Not getting a ship upgrade today. We're rushing to a lair. Oh, hello. Was my travel an ordeal to test my faith? We were sailing seas of nightmares where the light of the shepherd was feeble and its flock was scattering in despair. Before leaving the island, your men check the beach, looking for survivors and valuable objects. One of them hands you a cookbook. A, char uh, a character placed in the caboose can use his working skill attribute instead of crafting to cook. If the character's working attribute is crafting or given to the captain, crafting value plus three. So if we give it to you, you'll count as a 13? Pretty nice. And what about the map? Oh, no, that's, that's blueprints. Okay, it's not a map. Let the waters roll, Jack. Uh, yeah, you can have that. Blueprints for repairing the ship. Let's do a rescue mission, then. Now we're ready to head for the horn. Hey, oh, you lint old. Our boots and our clothes, boys, are all in the corn. So we roll the king randy dandy, oh. Heave a pull, oh, heave away. Okay, following the rumors about Diablo Bito, you finally dock in a small Malagasy fisherman's village. Life seems to flow pretty normally with fishermen repairing their fishing nets and kids are running on the streets with scissors. It's terrible. Just bloodbath everywhere. Uh, take a look around the village. Maybe now's not a good... Well, let's take a look around the village. The village does not look like a pirate cove. It looks more like a peaceful town on a war zone's border. Armed men populate the streets, but everyone seems to live a normal life. Since you arrived on the mainland, you have noticed some men following you. Ask a passerby? Sure. You stop a young milk delivery boy. Yes, he will know about the pirate. Pushing a small cart up and down the street, you put yourself in front of his cart, gently asking him where you can find Diablito. Good morning, sir. I really don't know what you're talking about. Do you want to buy some milk? The boy speaks loud as if he's trying to be heard by the people around. Uh, I will give him 50 gold. It's a lot of pocket money for a little boy. I will buy some milk. Wink. The kid takes the money and gives you a bottle of milk, carefully choosing a page of the local newspaper to wrap it. You unwrap the newspaper covering the milk bottle to find that you've just bought a local restaurant's advertisement. Free men, a great place for gentlemen. It looks close to where you are. Let's investigate. You walk down the street, coming to a tall wooden building in the crossroads of the village's two main streets. A tall armed man stands under the restaurant sign and guards the entrance. No entrance without reservation, shouts the immense man at the entrance, inspecting you with surly eyes, while joyful screams and music um, emanate from inside. You take a brief look at your worried men, trying to calm them with a smile. Yeah, sure, I'll give them 200 gold. Like, I've got a lot of gold. I have my reservation here in my pocket. The man takes the money and pockets it while checking to see if anyone noticed. He then invites you and your men inside. 
You enter the restaurant with your men. The furniture looks randomly placed around the room with no defined style, like they were collected from every place around the world. A man plays a boisterous and raucous tune on the piano, forcing everyone to speak loudly. You notice a long table placed in the room and approach it with your men. The long table at the end of the restaurant is occupied by a few men surrounding the captain, Diabolito. He is a man in his late twenties with messy, short black hair and thin lips drawing a sort of scar in the middle of his skinny face. As you approach his table, he glances at you with wild, little dark eyes. The men around him place their hands on their weapons. Diabolito, I am here for Captain Gardinier. He gestures you to take a seat. The moment you take a seat, Diabolito speaks in a steady and emotionless voice. I do not care how you know it or who you are. Do not bother me with story about your brother, father, lover, or whatever you are. I see my money, and you see the man. You show me he lives, and I'll show you the money. Fair enough. Diablito stands and walks towards a curtain behind his back. He moves it away, revealing a staircase leading downwards. You follow. A thousand? That's a lot. You walk towards the restaurant's wine cellar, then through a labyrinth of tunnels, revealing a sort of hidden city under the town. You enter a huge sea cave where all the ships come to unload their booty. Diablito points to a series of heavily guarded prison cells. One thousand dollars, and that will give you all of his useful stuff. He's the poorest whale I've ever seen. All of his stuff as well. Eh. Can I not attack? Oh, my men are not with me. Wait. Your men are not with you, so I can't pick that one. You are with your men, not alone, so I can't pick that one. What? Mm. I can offer you something more valuable. Is this a joke? Am I supposed to laugh? I can give you 10 grog. That is true. Fine, take the useless tramp and be gone. Also gets personal lines. There was nothing of the captain I had met on the Piquot. He had Ahab's eyes, blood craving windows of a desecrated church. The small box contains a few mundane objects of Captain Gardinia. A briar pipe, a pair of eyeglasses, and his revolver. Before returning the box to him, you remove the weapon. Gardinia's revolver. Unlock barrage dice during combat. I assume that's only good against humans, in which case, uh, I believe you get a revolver. Very nice. We're low on Grog now, which means we're going to have to rush to somewhere to get Grog, but Cape Town's pretty nearby. In South Australia, I was the Grog shortage is no mystery. One of your men, a self-made cook with a passion for eating and drinking, wants to try a new alcohol recipe that invented, which could help alleviate the Grog scarcity. In South Australia, um, sure, can't be worse than this Grog. Your man takes water and fruit and creates an exquisite alcoholic beverage. Ooh. That's what we get for having an amazing gourmet chef on board. Oh, storm, storm, storm! Man overboard! During a storm, your ship crests a massive swell and one of your men falls into the sea. Send a whaleboat to rescue him. 90% chance he's saved. It is only the scientist. Like, he's level 3 and terrible. And he's never leveling up because we never take him on missions. But, let's grab ourselves some grog. Dude, we have 65 days of grog. It wasn't really a shortage. We had like 30 before that. For sure, it's totally a shortage. Get back to 300 days. There we go. In which case, I think we're good. We've managed to save our friend. Capturing him back from the fierce pilot Dabiabolito. We just basically got... Gave him alcohol. We gave him booze in exchange for captive. Um, we also managed to get ourselves an awesome spear, which is great, by killing a legendary whale that was just doing its thing, going around the sea, minding its own business, and we killed it, murdered it, and rendered it down by melting its body to burn for fuel. We're lovely people. Next time, bigger ship. We're going to have to compare modules, because it's going to be a close-run thing about whether we should go for the bigger ship or the same size ship, but with faster, less cargo space. It's going to be a toss-up. 
But that'll be next time. If you've liked, like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. And until then, stay shiny.